Hey guys, so today we are bringing back the cart declutter series on my channel. We have another episode of this series. I love filming these videos. I've been doing them on my channel kind of on and off for the last few years. And basically the point of these videos is just to take you through my thought process when I am shopping online for makeup. So if you didn't know, Ulta is having a really great sale right now. If you're on a no buy or a low buy, just pretend I didn't say that, okay? If you're trying not to shop right now, then just forget I said that. Maybe this video can help encourage you not to spend. But in the sale, a lot of drugstore brands especially are marked down to like 30 to 50% off. So for me, I felt like it was a good time to go ahead and pick up some drugstore things that had been on my wish list for a while. Things I need to restock on like sponges also, it's a good time to grab those. So I think the sale is worlds better than their 21 days of beauty sale, which just ended. I know that sale gets a ton of hype, but I think this one is way better, especially if you're kind of a drugstore lover like I am. I There's just a lot of drugstore brands that I love. And even drugstore makeup, I don't like to spend full price on. So here's how I like to shop sales or just anytime I'm placing an order on Ulta, Sephora, any site. What I like to do a lot of the time is just kind of take myself on a little pretend shopping spree. I will just add anything that catches my eye to my cart. Like I'll just kind of go crazy, pretend that I'm just having a fun little shopping spree. Obviously the key here is to not check out yet because then what I like to do is declutter my shopping cart and go through and whittle it down, narrow it down to the things that I actually want or the things that actually make sense for me to buy right now. Some things I'll kind of move to my like favorites list to save for later. Some things I'll just be like, actually I don't really want this at all. And for me it's just a really fun way to make sure that I'm shopping mindfully. So I like to sometimes take you guys along. So what we're going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you. I'll show you what I have in my cart currently. Currently, from my pretend shopping spree, my cart is at a total of $274.35. And as far as like how much I would like to spend, I would like to spend no more than $150. I think that's gonna be my goal. Even less than that would be great. But let's kind of set our budget, our tentative budget at that amount for now. Also, I think I'm gonna wait to place my order until after this video goes live, which I think it's going live on Sunday. I'm gonna wait until I can read your comments so that in case there's, maybe I've made a huge mistake and there's something that like you think I should have gotten or it's something you think I shouldn't get, I might make some last minute decisions there and then I'll place my order like after I get your feedback. That way you can kind of help me make my decisions too. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it and let me show you my cart with everything that I want. <laughs> and now we have to be adults and decide what we actually are going to get. All right, so here's my cart. I'll just kind of give you guys a quick scroll through so you can see everything I have in here. Kind of a mix of body care, skincare, makeup. First up, let's start here at the bottom because this is where a lot of the makeup is. So NYX is having buy two, get one free. So there are three NYX products that I have been wanting to try, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave all three of these in here. The NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, which so many people have recommended to me. A lot of people have said this is similar to the Kosas Concealer, which I really love, and I would love to find an affordable alternative to that. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is the shade. If anyone has any insight into which shade I should get, let me know. But I did use the foundation website, and it told me that vanilla was my shade in this concealer, which is the third shade up from the lightest. Looking at the swatches, though, shades 1 and 2, fair and light, do look like they'd probably be too light for me, and 3 does look like a good shade. So I'm going to go with vanilla for now. It's always tricky buying complexion products online. I also am almost out of my Pacifica Brow Gel, so the next one I want to try is this Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Gel from NYX. Heard good things about this one as well, and I think Cool Blonde looks like and sounds like the perfect shade for me. So I have that in my cart. And then the Sweet Cheeks Cream Blush. Last time I did a video like this, so many of you were so upset that I didn't get this <laughs> blush. I was It was between this one and like the Milani Cream Blush and so many people really wanted me to get this one. So I feel like I have heard nothing but good things about this cream blush and I think I would get the shade Nude Tude. That's the one I have in my cart right now, which looks like just a great kind of brownish nude blush, which I think would be beautiful for the fall and winter. So those are the three NYX products I have in my cart, and I am planning on leaving those all in just because of the buy two, get one free. I also wanted to stock up on my favorite sponge, which is the EcoTools Bio Blender. They have a two-pack on sale for $7.69. So that I'm already planning on getting. That's something I've been meaning to pick up. I was planning on picking it up next time I saw it on sale, so now seems like the time to get it. 
Here's one that I'm not sure about, the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I do want to try this. I know I've heard it's a good setting spray for just keeping your makeup locked in, but I do already have right here in front of me my Urban Decay All Nighter, which already serves that purpose for me, so part of me wants to get this to see if it's really a dupe, but then the other part of me is like, no, just use up your Urban Decay one first. So, and I don't even use this one that often anyway, because I'm not that, I, like I don't, typically reach for long wearing setting sprays unless it's like a special occasion or something. So saying all of this out loud, I think it makes sense for me to remove this. I'm going to save it for later. That's a great way to keep things like filed away in the back of your mind or in your Ulta list so that, you know, you won't forget about it if next time you do want to get it. But so far I've removed one thing from my cart. Yay. <laughs> We're making progress. Okay, so then I do have two different types of under eye patches in my cart right now, and I'm going to pick between them. I'm not going to get both. So first up, I have the Pixi Detoxify eye patches, and then I also have, where are they? The Derma E Vitamin C Hydrogel patches. So I think I'll just go with, with whichever one is a better value. These are the two that I've been eyeing just because they come in a little tub, so you don't have to buy like an individual package every time. They both come with 60 patches and they're actually about the same price. The Dermot E one is $17.46 and the Pixi one is $16.80. So I guess I'll get the Pixi one just because it is um, a little bit cheaper. Yeah, let's just try the Pixi ones first. I'll go ahead and remove the Dermot E. Actually, I'll save it for later. And we'll try the Pixi ones because I know I've heard they're really good. I also added the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist into my cart. Um, let's see, so how are you supposed to use this? Like, are you supposed to use it over makeup or under makeup? Because I don't really do, I don't really do mists under my makeup most of the time. Use as needed. Okay, great, that gives me so much information. Let's see, great for in-between moisture such as a quick after cleansing and before serums or midday dryness. So it sounds like most people wear it kind of as more of a skincare step to kind of prep their skin, either for skincare or for makeup or people will just use it for extra hydration throughout the day. I don't feel super strongly about this, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in my cart for now. Okay, then <laughs> we have some things from LA Girl. So their products are on a pretty good discount. It looks like, what is that, like 40% off? I did add a couple of these palettes just because I don't hear many people talking about LA Girl eyeshadows, except I know I've heard Andrea Mitigliano recommend their shadows before, their palettes, and it makes me wanna try them. This. This obviously the nudist eyeshadow palette looks like a very neutral, leaning, cool toned palette. I definitely don't need these colors. It would mainly just be to try out the formula. But I don't necessarily feel that strongly about that color story. This one, on the other hand, this is the Sun Kissed Glow palette. I think I've heard, I think this is one that Andrea Mitigliano recommended. It does have a lot of browns, and that's kind of one thing that's deterring me just because I know I don't need a whole lot of these and a lot of these look kind of repetitive like all these deep browns I think I would really want this palette if it were just a little bit smaller like if they could have condensed this to like a 12 pan I think I would be more interested but I do really like just the overall vibe of this palette and if it's on sale for $10.79 as opposed to $18 that's a pretty good deal but remember, I do have kind of a cap on the number of palettes I'm allowing myself to buy this year, and I have bought three so far. So I am just trying to think through my palette purchases before I just buy them on a whim this year. I think I can go ahead and, and rule out the nudist eyeshadow palette. I just think, I just don't need those shades. They all look pretty repetitive to what I already have in my collection. Sunkiss Glow is also beautiful, but I think I already kind of talked myself out of it. You know, it's just, I think it's just a little bit too big for me, but I am gonna keep an eye on LA Girl shadows. And let me know if there's any palettes of theirs that you really like, um, that you think are worth trying. Also, the LA Girl Shockwave eyeliners have been on my list to try. So I added the shade Fresh to my cart, but I don't know, I was looking through these colors and while these are all really fun, I don't know if any of these colors are really calling my name right now. So even though this is a formula that I really wanna try, I think if I'm being realistic, like I already have, I'll just show you. I already have a cup with a ton of eyeliners in it, lots of fun colors. I don't have every color of the rainbow, but I also don't need to have every color of the rainbow. I'm trying to remind myself of that because it can be fun to just like collect every single color that you see, but 
realistically, like, I don't know if I would use any of these colors that much, but $2.69 is such a good deal for what is, what I've heard is a really good eyeliner. I've heard these are kind of similar to the NYX Epic Wear Liner Sticks. Hmm, should I? Oh my gosh, let me see. Gold metal. I don't have any gold eyeliners, so maybe this looks like kind of an orangey gold. This might be fun for the holidays. And then we also have Penny. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to hold off on this. So for the sale, by the way, LA Girl, it's 40% off all of their eye products. So, which is mainly what I'm interested in anyway. But, ooh, wait, Keep It Playful 9 color eyeshadow palettes. I don't think I looked at these. These kind of look like the, the Huda Beauty palettes. Um, okay, so just three kind of neutral color stories. This one's a little bit more cool toned, more warm browns, and more like mauve-y. I do wonder if this is worth trying. It has good reviews. All right, I'm gonna add Playmate to my bag too because I just wanna try their eyeshadow formula. Okay, so I took out the other two palettes, but then I added another one in. <laughs> so, hmm, I don't know if I'm doing a great job here. Anyway, we'll think about it, we'll think about it. We'll kind of see how, how we do. I am gonna go ahead and take this Shockwave liner out of my cart because, I, I don't know, I just don't think any of the colors are really anything that I'm looking for right now. So again, I'll save it for later. This is a mascara I'm really curious about. I would really just like to find at least one or two Pacifica products that I actually like, and I know I've heard some good things about this Pacifica Vegan Collagen Fluffy Lash Thickening and Lengthening Mascara. It is normally 16, which is pretty pricey for a drugstore mascara, so now it's on sale for 12, which is still kind of a lot for a drugstore mascara. Ideally, I like to keep my mascaras under $10, but I don't know. I do currently have two mascaras open that'll be good for the next like three months because I just opened them both. So I know Pacifica will go on sale again <laughs> at some point. 25% off. It's a good deal, but it's not like it's like half off. So I think I'm going to just save that for later. Then this is just another thing I was really intrigued by. I don't know if I've heard any reviews on this, but this is the, I think this is relatively new from them, the Glow Stick Lip Oil. It's like a, it's, it's really just like a tinted lip balm, I'm guessing. They're calling everything a lip oil these days. But, um, has anyone tried this? Thoughts? This one is very pink, which I don't, I don't usually like really like blue-based pinks like that. Rosy Glow also looks pretty. I wish they had swatches on here, though. See, Rosy Glow looks like it might just turn hot pink on my lips, which, not really the vibe I'm usually going for with like a tinted lip balm. So, and then there's this purpley one. Yeah, I think just because I'm not 100% sure about this glow stick lip oil, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. Just, I'm trying to be smart here. I also was just curious about this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Brow Gel. I don't know if I've heard anyone talking about this, but it is on sale for $7 instead of $10. But I think because I, I already, what I really wanna try is the NYX one, which I already have in my cart, as you saw. So I think for this one, I will go ahead and hold off because I, I don't need to have more than one brow gel at a time. Okay, here's something that I'm pretty positive I'm going to keep in my cart, the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint in the shade Freaked, which they call a matte gentle lavender. This looks like the most beautiful dusty lavender shade. Mm, isn't that so cute? Most of these are sold out, so that probably means I should hurry up if I do want to get this, but if it sells out before I check out, then I'll just know that it wasn't meant to be. But yeah, these just look so cool. I, I just... I'm really loving this concept. I know it's not a new concept, a matte liquid eyeshadow, but they're just fun. I love all these fun colors. This shade looks like something that would just be beautiful to wear either as a one shadow look or to just top with like a light shimmer for just a super simple look. So that I am going to keep in my cart. I am, I am really liking the About Face cream blush that I have, so it just has me interested in trying more from them. And I figure while it's on sale, might as well. All right, so next I have something here from Flower Beauty. This is their, I think this is a new product of theirs, the Chrome Crush Pressed Pigments. I heard Kelly Gooch recommending these. She said that they make a really pretty like eyeshadow topper, which lately I've just been such a sucker for like single, like individually potted shadows. It's, which is funny because there was a time where I like swore off 
all like individual single shadows because I didn't reach for them. But, but these days I just really like the little individual potted shadows. I think they're so cute and I do use them now. So, so these are the shades they have. And the shade I chose is the shade Quartz, which I think would be the most, out of all of these, would be the one I would reach for the most. I think that's the one that Kelly has as well. Normally it retails for $14 and it's on sale for $9.79. I'm tempted by this, but I don't, it's not like a must have, but I would really like to try it. So for now, I'll leave that in my cart. Here's another thing that I've never heard anyone talking about, but this looks like it would be so pretty, especially with the holidays coming up. And it's from J-Cat Beauty, which I have never tried anything from J-Cat Beauty. They're a very affordable brand, and this is their Rockin' Around the Night Sparkling Powder. It looks like, like a loose glitter. Look at this color! So the shade I have in here is Lion Silver, which looks like just a really pretty iridescent silver shade. But I actually didn't look up super close at these. These look like, like true pieces of glitter. So I don't know. I don't usually like like thick pieces of glitter just because I do like, I don't want those getting in my eyes and like irritating my eyes. It doesn't necessarily say that it's eye safe or not, but this kind of precaution here does kind of make me wonder if it is technically eye safe. Um, so maybe this is maybe this is not what I want. I do like the idea of like a loose shimmer or glitter powder as opposed to a liquid just because liquid glitters, even though they are really pretty, they do tend to dry out pretty quickly before you're able to use them up. So I like this, the idea of like a powder instead, but I think this one, it's so cheap. I can't believe how cheap it is. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to pass on the Rock in the Night Sparkling Powder just because it does look a little too chunky glitter for me, even though it looks beautiful. I just, I think I'd be too scared to put it on my eyes. So I'm going to, I'll save it for later. Maybe if any of you have tried that, let me know what you think. But they do also have, see, these are the shimmer version of those loose powders. This is the Shine Your Day Shimmery Powder. For some reason, they have two different Shine Your Day powders here. So Let's see, chameleon effect. That looks really cool. That looks like a duochrome, like reddish green. That looks fun. Maybe that'd be fun for like Christmassy looks. $1.74. I, I am tempted to try just one of these just to see. I mean, they have pretty good reviews. Crystal Sand looks like a pretty basic like champagne pearly kind of shade. And then over here, for some reason, these are like separate products, even though I think they're the same thing, just different shades. Angelo looks like a pretty like peachy color, but maybe not something I'd wear this time of year. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. Earth Mango. Ooh, that's pretty. Like a super metallic bronze shade. And then what is this? Floral White. It's so like a frosty white. I'm kind of torn between Earth Mango and chameleon effect over here. Let's go with the shade Earth Mango just because it looks like a slightly more everyday color for me, one that I would be likely to get probably more use out of than chameleon effect. And then if I really like the formula, I might consider getting some other shades. But yeah, I think I'm going to get Earth Mango. Okay, so here's where we're at with my cart. We're at 207 and I think that was the last of the makeup. I do also have some non-makeup miscellaneous type things here. So I did put two of these candles, the Ulta Beauty Collection candles in my cart because I'm just curious. They look like they're meant to be kind of dupes for the Bath and Body Works candles and they are on sale for half off right now. $10 each and these are three wick candles. So the two scents I put in, I'm going to just pick from one of the two. The two scents that I got are Toasted Fireside, which that's one of my favorite types of like fall and winter scents. Just a nice like toasty, smoky kind of campfire type scent. With like a little hint of marshmallow, which I'm guessing is kind of what this is. It sounds like, kind of sounds like Marshmallow Fireside from Bath and Body Works. And then I also got Crisp Apple, which I do always love a good apple scented fall candle. Um, I do wonder about this. It has the California Prop 65 warning. I don't know anything about this. This always kind of freaks me out and I don't know anything about this warning. It all, like I, I've seen this on all kinds of different products. I've seen it on even like food things before. But it says this product can expose you to chemicals which are known to the state of California to cause cancer, which is obviously scary to read. So that kind of freaks me out. I don't know. For now, I'm going to plan to get just um, 
I think I'm just gonna get the toasted fireside one. I think of the two, I'd rather just get toasted fireside for now. I might, I'm gonna read it more into that Prop 65 warning and find out um, if I do feel comfortable buying this or not. All right, so then I did put a couple of body care products from Soap and Glory in my cart as well. I've never tried anything from Soap and Glory, but I have wanted to for a while, ever since I found out that they are Leaping Bunny certified, which I didn't realize, so they are, cruelty free. So it looks like they're 30% off here. Um, and I, the first thing I put in my cart was the original pink clean on me body wash, which, you know, we do go through body wash pretty regularly. And for $7, 16.9 fluid ounces, it seems like a pretty good amount for a reasonable price. So that is one thing I have in my cart, kind of a practical item, but I know we would use it. Um, and then the Perfect Zen Bath Milk, which sounds really cool. This has good reviews. I was reading through some of them. The main thing I would want to use this for would be as a bubble bath because I am wanting to take to get into taking more baths as we get into the cooler months. I just love like relaxing in the bathtub, especially when it's cold outside. It's just so calming to me. So they call it a multitasking product. They say that it's meant to cleanse your skin, but also moisturize. And according to some of the reviews I was reading, it also is like a bubble bath as well, which is the main like, thing I'd be using it for. So you're supposed to just uh, mix it in with your bath water to create like bubbles and just to like create like a nice um, aromatherapy type experience. So this is a lavender and tonka bean scent, which sounds lovely. I don't usually like lavender on its own, but when it's mixed with something else like vanilla, I usually do like it. So... I think I am going to get that. I think I am. I've been eyeing this. I've seen it at Fred Meyer a few times too. And I, I've always kind of eyed it. So I feel like now that it's on sale, I might as well, might as well grab it. So here's the big, like the big ticket item in my cart right now. Uh, this is the Conair Social Media Lighted Makeup Mirror. So I have been wanting to get something like this for a long time. And this type of thing can get very expensive. Like, multiple hundreds of dollars <laughs> expensive and this normally retails for uh, 120 and it's currently on sale for 84 so pretty good discount i do tend to really like conair products i don't think i've ever had a conair product i didn't like um they make a lot of like hair tools and just other kind of beauty tools and accessories and as you can see you can kind of prop your phone up on this and it's meant for like filming things like TikToks and Instagram reels which I do have a goal of just filming more kind of like casual TikTok videos and Instagram reels and just be especially being more active on TikTok because I know I need to. I think this would help to facilitate that and just make it easier for me to just prop my phone up, film a quick little short video and it does have four different light settings so ideally I think this is meant to be like your your lighting and like your phone stand and you're, you don't have to use any other lights if you don't want to because it looks like these lights go pretty bright according to what I was reading. So so this looks like exactly what I've been looking for and it is a lot cheaper than most things like this. So I am going to go ahead and get this just because you know I've been looking at this type of thing for a while and I know it will make my life easier. And then I have these Ulta, just a bag of Ulta jumbo cotton balls. Um, I always like getting just basic things like that from the Ulta house brand. They're usually pretty affordable and I do need some cotton balls to be able to remove nail polish. So I am gonna get those. So then there's these two things I kinda added while we were browsing together. The LA Girl Keep It Playful Nine Color Eyeshadow Palette. <sighs> the thing is, I really do wanna try LA Girl's eyeshadow formula, but the thing is, this palette and this color story, I just don't really feel like I need to add this to my collection. Like I don't feel like this selection of colors is necessary. I feel like I already have all of these colors in my collection between like my Perfusion Mauves palette and my Soft Glam palette. So I think that means even though it is such an affordable price, I think I'll just wait until I find an LA Girl palette that really does like seem like it's going to be a good addition to my existing eyeshadow collection and I don't just want to buy it just because I want to try the formula. Like maybe eventually LA Girl will come out with a palette that really does just like have my name written all over it but yeah, just trying to be more careful with my eyeshadow palette purchases this year, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll save it for later. Maybe one day I'll change my mind, but I don't need to buy that right now. And then the J-Cat 
shimmer powder in earth mango that I'm just very curious to try. So we've gone through everything once. We are at a total of 191.87, so we're still a bit above the kind of loose budget that I had set. So let's just go back through. I, I already have my mind made up about these NYX things, the Eco Tool sponge I already know. Um, the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. Let me go ahead and take this out. I, I don't feel that strongly about trying this right away. I, eventually I would like to try it, but uh, I'm sure it will go on sale again in the future. And yeah, we'll just forget about that. Yeah, I really do want this About Face Matte Eye Paint. That just looks so cute. Flower Beauty Chrome Crush Pressed Pigment. Do I need this? Do I really need this? Like, come on. I'm gonna save this for later. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save it for later because I just don't feel certain about it. And I was thinking like that's the kind of thing I could layer over this about face matte eye paint. But I also feel like any of my flower desert lights shimmers, like these lighter shimmers would look beautiful over that matte lavender color. So I think I should just do that for now. Like I have so many beautiful shimmers already. We're at 171 now. Let's just come back through and see. Yeah, really this this Conair mirror is what's um, boosting up that price so much, but I think um, I think this is a smart choice. Anything else I wanna take out? I, the only other thing I'm kind of thinking about removing is the Ulta candle. You know what I really should do? Is just buy candles from like small businesses rather than Ulta. That's really what I should do. Considering that along with the fact that it has that California warning on it that I don't know anything about, but that does kind of give me pause. I, I'm going to save that for later. Um, and maybe, maybe pass on that. Just if I didn't have pets, like if I didn't have cats that are my whole world, I like wouldn't be as concerned, but like, I don't want to harm my cats. I think I'll stick to like my Binnie and Claude candles. I do want to place an order with them. They're a small business. And then A to Z candles is another small candle business. I love they're both vegan and cruelty free company. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna make the choice that I know I want to make. So that brings my total to a nice 161.58. I will, like I said, I will wait to read your comments in case you guys have any like burning suggestions or, or things that you like think I should change my mind about. All right, well, I feel really good about all these choices. It felt good to narrow down my cart to the things that are really gonna add something to my collection, hopefully. Definitely stay tuned. I will be sure to test these out in some sort of get ready with me video coming up soon. So you can hear my thoughts as they develop on these products. But thank you so much for watching today's video and coming along with me while I shopped. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.